humanity was created with a void. And that void is to worship. And it's not just any worship. It's worship to the only true and living God. And nothing else, nothing else can satisfy or fill that place. This morning as we pray for a nation, we're praying for a nation that needs to find this one, the only one who can fill the void. The nation we are praying for is a nation of Iran. Iran is no stranger to us. We know, most of us can pretty much recite it, that it's 99% Muslim. Its capital city is Tehran, and it's just about 86 million. They've asked us to pray. They have a few believers. There's a 1% Christian population. And they've asked us to pray for a great harvest that results from faithful believers sharing their faith. That the church would rapidly grow and multiply and mature despite the heavy persecution that they face. And that Christians would capitalize on the unprecedented opportunities to spread the gospel via the internet, TV, that's what they rely on. Now, we pray for Muslim nations all the time. And as I read about Iran, something stood out. In all these Muslim nations, any nation that says that it's 90% Muslim upwards, so 100, there are some things that are common to them. Three things, poverty, addiction, and this one, depression, the void, the God void that only Jehovah God can fill. All these Muslim nations have that, a void, the God void. A young lady prayed for her nation and she said one line. She said, I am confident that one day the doors of my nation will open and the gospel will flow. And it touched my heart because I said, yes, we can pray that. Yes, it is revival time. And God is going to rise up in nations that we didn't think were going to be first. We thought that they would be on the back page. But God is pulling some people who don't look like we look or sound like we sound or are at a place like this on a Sunday. He's calling some people that are desperate and hungry. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you that you made us with a void for you because it's out of filling that void. Mm. We found such satisfaction. God, many of us have tried other things. Let us not pretend. We've tried relationships. We tried things. We tried money, God. We've tried so many things. So many things. Lord God, we look at young people involved in illicit sexual activities and all sorts of stuff, God. The void. The void. Oh God, that void. That void. And this nation is no different this morning, God. They too have a void. Lord God, many nations have this void, but they too have a void that they're trying to stuff Muslim faith into, Lord God. They have packed all their money into it, Lord God. They have packed idol worship into it, Lord God. They keep throwing things into it, Lord God. Iran is throwing things, throwing themselves into it, Lord God. Saying, Lord God, that they are suicide bombers and all sorts of things, throwing their lives into the void. But only you can satisfy. Come now, fount of every blessing. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein where Muslims plunge beneath the flood. Lose all their guilt, their shame, their anxiety, their depression. Lord God, everything, Lord God, that is not of you washes away. 
under that phone, Lord God. This morning, as we have lifted our cups to you, Lord Jesus, Lord God, our cups cannot truly be full until all nations declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because, Lord God, you have given the nations to us as an inheritance and you only could give good gifts. So we thank you for the good gifts of the nations that you have given to us. And we call them into their divine destiny. We say, Iran, today, today, you will become hungry, so desperately hungry that you will begin to search for what meal cannot fill and what all the Quran and everything that you've had cannot fill and that Jesus would encounter you in uncommon ways through dreams and visions somebody along the street somebody will mention his name and at that name you will bow to the lordship of Jesus Christ we put the government and the children every aspect of Iran into your hands Lord God and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing in the nations. We thank you. We never thought that we would be the generation that would see it. But Lord God, we are grateful. The revival is here. And we will see it with our own eyes and taste it, Lord God. Behold what the Lord does in this time. Because it is, that it is a new thing. We shall see it. And it is good. We praise you, good God. And we honor you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name we say, Amen and Amen.